What's going on all you fantastic freelancers? William here and I wanted to address a few things from today's Gamescom coverage. I know many of you, including me, were waiting all week long for this. I think it's safe to say that many Anthem fans felt disappointed after the 20 minute discussion seeing that there wasn't really anything new to report and nothing substantial to have waited all Gamescom for. I decided to hold off making a video this afternoon because of the way I was personally feeling after Gamescom. After waking up from my nap and chatting with BSN Sofa Jockey and a few of you on the Discord server, I have this to say. This was not John Warner's fault. This was not Bioware's fault. I would say the vast majority of this disappointment should be placed on the shoulders of Games Radar for their incredibly misleading caption for John Warner's interview, which read, John Warner, Anthem's game director, is going to talk us through an Anthem demo that'll make your eyes deliriously happy. Many of us, including me, interpreted that as being a new demo that would be shown, or new footage at the very least to merit that deliriously happy statement. This was just clickbait by another name, and as many of you know, I despise clickbait no matter what form it takes. Again, I don't blame John Warner or Bioware for what happened. Bioware was there to promote the E3 2018 gameplay to the European audience and get that market excited for Anthem seeing as E3 was more of an English-speaking country's hype festival. They never promised new footage of any sort being shown there, which is fine, but again, I blame Games Radar's incredibly misleading statement that we would be shown a demo that would supposedly make our eyes deliriously happy, but instead made many fans deliriously bored or deliriously ticked if that last one is even possible to deliriously achieve. However, despite the misleading description, we did get some new information about Anthem, which I can elaborate and revise more on outside of this video later. But for now, here are the four new things we learned from the interview. So, it turns out the reason why we haven't left the Anthem world yet is due to a powerful ripstream over the planet that would rip you, your ship, and anything else apart. This might be why we are dealing with the invasive scars, maybe they can't get off the planet, but who knows, it's too soon to tell. The Interceptor Javelin is apparently a gadget-wielding javelin, and whether or not it means the Interceptor is no longer a cloak and dagger class remains to be seen. I think it would be kinda cool to have a speedster javelin running around the arena throwing who knows what to disrupt and distract and harass enemies while the team rips them to shreds. John hinted that we would see more of the Interceptors soon, trademark, which might mean PAX West, but who really knows anymore. John also stated that while the storm is hovering, it creates a protective shield around itself. While I doubt it is limitless, considering it is the class that is supposed to be hovering or flying most of the time, it gives it some survivability, which is awesome. We also got a name drop for a new element known as Acid. So now all the elemental types we have so far that we know of are Ice, Fire, Electricity, and Acid. And lastly, while John didn't specifically state a demo is coming soon, we will at least be getting more details on it soon. Again, trademark. Which could mean PAX West, but again, who really knows? At the end of the day, I think the interview was a hit and a miss as far as an opportunity to get the fandom excited. I know plenty of Anthem fans are upset as well as a few content creators. However, my freelancers, don't get discouraged. We have PAX West just around the corner to get pumped up for, and hopefully a bucket, no, a dumpster truck full of information will be coming coming soon. Am I disappointed? Sure but I'm not discouraged. Let me know what you all think in the comments section below after Gamescom and what do you all think we will see at PAX West on September 1st. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, and if you are new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Lastly, a very special thank you to my patrons for all that they do. I'll be able to move my studio into my new place sometime next week thanks to their support. Tomorrow, I will have a new lore video released and another one the day after that to hopefully give you all a little more of a refreshing anthem taste in your mouths. Until then, my friends, Stay positive, stay enthused, and stay classy, freelancers. Peace out, everyone.